Hi, I'm Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting. We wanted to issue a challenge to our readers and also our staff to upgrade something in their sewing room. Now there are a few reasons to upgrade something. One, it can be a form of self-care. You're treating yourself to something you need. And two, it can actually help make your sewing process easier and more enjoyable. So in this video, our staff is sharing some of the ways, both large and small ways, that they're upgrading items in their sewing room. And I wanted to share an example from our own sewing room in the office. So you can see here, we have a cutting table. And if you can tell, it's, it's a little short for me. So we actually got an adjustable cutting table so that I can just turn the crank whenever I'm using the cutting table and make sure it's at the right height for me. So the cutting table should be about the height of my hips and that just helps my upper body feel comfortable as I'm cutting but still be able to push down when I'm cutting and get that pressure. Um, but if you don't have an adjustable cutting table or the budget for it, you can just purchase cheap bed risers in different heights and add those to your table legs of your cutting table to make sure that it's ergonomic and it fits what you need. Hi, I'm Joanna, the editor of Quilts and More magazine. One way that I upgrade my sewing tools is by going through them about once or twice a year and checking for damage. So here I have a rotary cutter where when I tested it, the blade just wasn't very sharp anymore. It's also a little loose. The um, safety mechanism over time has just gotten a little, a little wonky. So that's one that made my cut for things that I might want to upgrade. I have a pair of scissors. This is my own fault. I was doing some DIY projects and they were the only ones around, but they're supposed to be fabric scissors and I use them for a DIY project and ruin them. I have my favorite, some pins that it might be a little hard to see, but they are very bent. Um, so those are no good anymore. And then finally I have my cutting mat, which sadly has been cut on one too many times and has lots of grooves and pits in it. So one thing that I like to do is take inventory of what needs to be fixed or upgraded. Um, and then I give myself an excuse to go shopping and often I will buy a fancier version of these tools because I know that I'm going to use them often. Hi, I'm Allison. I have a tool upgrade that will help you when it comes to straight line quilting. For smaller projects, it's great to use a hair marker and you can use a ruler and help score for your straight lines are gonna go. But if you're doing a lot or a bigger quilt, like I did this throw size, I have this quilting bar which um, on my walking foot, I can adjust the width. So I would just line up to the previous line and then stitch. So it's very handy and saves um, time marking with a hair marker if you're working with a big project. Hi, I'm Beth with American Patchwork and Quilting and I'm sharing my super simple and inexpensive way that I upgraded my sewing tools. So I never had enough bobbins and I was constantly emptying half full bobbins so that I could wind new ones. I spent about $12 to get about a dozen bobbins and it's made my sewing so much more fun. I can keep bobbins wound in a variety of colors which makes it super easy to grab and go when I need to change thread colors. And when I have a big project like piecing an entire quilt or machine quilting, I can pre-wind several bobbins before I start so I don't have to take breaks to wind a bobbin in the middle of a long sewing or quilting session. And these little bobbinis make it really easy to store my bobbin with my thread. So you can just put it right in the top of the thread spool and add your bobbin and that keeps them together. Having a lot of extra bobbins on hand is a simple way for me to make the most of my sewing time. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I love sewing on my vintage Singer 301 machine. However, it is missing some of those basic bells and whistles that just come standard on most sewing machines today. So I wanna share with you three products that I've purchased to upgrade my machine to make sewing on it just a little more enjoyable. 
Most modern sewing machines come with built-in thread cutters, but my vintage machine did not have one. So I purchased this product from Thread Cutters and it just adheres to the side of my machine and it's great to just be able to quickly trim my threads. The second product that I find really useful to use on my vintage machine is this magnetic seam guide. And it has a really strong magnet on the back and you can just position it wherever you need it to be on your machine so that you can sew accurate seams. The last product is this wooden spool holder that I've just added to the top of my machine here. And as you can see, the original spool holder was kind of short and my spools would always wobble. But since I've added this, I have not had that problem.